I've been live streaming and providing video services for quite a few years now, but more recently, I wanted to learn the photography side, not only to sell more packages to my clients that included pictures, but also personal. You know, I have two nephews that both play sports and I really wanted to do more photography when it came to their sporting events and some other things when I'm just out and about and wanted great pictures. So I've already been familiar with the Sony mirrorless camera series. I've been using Sony a6400 to live streams for years, but more recently I've been using the Sony a1 because it's a great hybrid camera really good for video and really good for photography now the sony a1 is a flagship camera sony's flagship camera and because it shoots at 30 frames per second i'll never miss a shot when it comes to sports photography and so as a novice but someone that does understand how camera works for the video settings i'm definitely learning a lot about the photography type of settings and the types of lenses that i should use for different use cases now, because I was shooting a lot of outdoor football this past season, I first picked up the Sony F4 lens, which is pretty good in my opinion for the price point. And because I was shooting outdoors, it was really good. And I had enough light coming into the lens where I didn't really need to go out and get a super extremely expensive lens. But now that basketball season is here and the gymnasiums aren't lit that well, from different forums that I've been in, I've learned that the F4 lens is not the lens of choice by most photographers. So I wanted to test out that brand new 70 to 200 F2.8 lens, the G Master. So instead of buying that lens, I wanted to test drive it because I'm not a professional photographer and I'm not gonna be using it all the time. So I found a website called Lens Rental and I'm gonna link to it below because if you ever wanted to test out cameras or lenses or audio equipment, they even have additional accessories like camera sliders. If you just wanna test it out or you just need it for a short period of time, rather than buying it, just rent it. So I'm gonna check out the 70 to 200 G Master version two of the lens. Now I'm not sponsored by Lens Rental, but I did wanna create this video because I definitely love good customer support. And it was just easy to actually rent the lens. You know, sometimes you have to go through hurdles, but in this case, it was a simple online process and you guys can save a little bit money if you want to do this too by using the link in the description. Now they did pack it in this nice case and an extra case for the lens itself and it also came with the instructions for the return of it. Now, if we take a look at the lens compared to my F4 lens, we can see it's just a slightly larger lens with the lens cap on, and it is just slightly a little heavier. Now, that is all fine with me because this is not supposed to be a super technical video. I just want this lens to do what I think it can do, especially when it's paired with a sports type of lens, wildlife lens, a flagship lens essentially. Can this give me those really good pictures that I'm looking for as a content creator, as a videographer, as someone that's really trying to add photography to my professional services. So I'm going to literally put this on here and we're gonna test drive this out this weekend. So we are going to be going to uh, Washington DC and we're gonna be shooting at hopefully some monuments. We're gonna be shooting obviously a basketball game and I'm gonna take both lenses to get some comparison as well. Shot on an F4 lens and then also shot on the F2.8. Obviously the F2.8 will probably give me some better pictures. Now, I'm not sure at this time if I'll shoot in JPEG or RAW, but once we come back and finish the videos, I'll let you know. Now, really easy to put this on my camera, and this looks like the ultimate professional camera in my opinion. Now, I am excited to use this, so let me make sure that I get everything charged up. We're gonna pack away from the weekend, and I'll see you right after I show you some footage from this weekend's events, and let me know in the comments what you think. So we're out here at Graverly Point, and this is where I'm going to test out the Sony A1 and my current F4 lens and the GM2 lens. So we're going to take some shots with both of them. I'll put these on the screen so you can check them out. And let's keep going.
grab this lens first. So here comes a plane. All right, we are back from the weekend. So here's the bag and everything that I took and then use half of the stuff I actually took and I'll talk to you why in this video. So let me take some stuff out of the bag here. First is my tripod that we first didn't use. This is my iFootage tripod that I actually use right here to have one of my lights to give more brightness to this area, which I'll hook up before we start really unloading this bag. But I did take this thinking I was gonna use it to set my GoPro on but I didn't use it. And again, I'll explain why in a second. Let's finish unpacking the bag here. Up at the top, I really like this bag because I can get so much stuff in here. I have some extra batteries that I used for the GoPro this weekend. Now, obviously all the batteries are out because I just threw them back in the bag, but this is a nice charging case for the GoPro. This is my Sony battery charger, GoPro Hero 10 that we use to grab some footage of the weekend, HDMI cable, Sony Fast Express reader card. So we use that to actually put the information on the computer so I can show you guys these pictures. Microfiber cloth. And we have GoPro batteries in here. So two GoPro batteries actually here, but you can fit three in the charging case. So it's nice to have that lotion. You cannot leave the house without lotion. At least I can't. So that's everything essential out of this compartment. But the real reason you guys are watching the video is because of the lenses that we were testing out. Um, I took this monitor with me. This is a brand new monitor that got sent over to me from A Video One. Unfortunately, didn't get a chance to actually use it. I wanted to put this on the Sony A1 to get a better, uh, bigger screen to see what I was actually taking photos of, but I didn't get a chance to really use this. So stay tuned for another video uh, about that. Sony A1, the camera, of course, extra batteries, and then our lenses that we took uh, my uh, F4 and then the G Master 2.8. So that is everything that I took in this bag for the weekend. Set this bag off to the side. Now the original goal was to actually go to the basketball game and take pictures in the gymnasium, poor lighting, and really see how well the lenses compare to each other. Well, that didn't quite happen. What did happen is the fact that we first went over to Gravelly Park, which is just outside of Reagan National Airport, and we watched the planes take off literally right over our heads. It's a great place to go, take the family, it's a park, and it's a great experience if you want to be close to the action. So I did get a couple shots with that using the F2.8 um, and the uh, F4, but because these were 70 to 200 lenses, the photos really had to be cropped in to see the real action. Then we headed over to some local DC landmarks. We headed over to the Lincoln Memorial, and then we also went over to the Martin Luther King statue where I was able to test out the F2.8 lens. And I'm already familiar with how my F4 lens would perform outdoors because I've already used it for football in the fall of the year. But the real test of this lens that I rented was to see how it would perform in the gymnasium. Now, this was my very, very first time shooting basketball inside a gymnasium. Matter of fact, it's my first time shooting basketball at all. And this gymnasium, I can't tell you how small and tight it was. Now, I don't even think there were a dozen lights in the whole gym. It was that small, which was part of the reason I didn't use all my equipment. I wanted to show you guys behind the scene action and have the GoPro set up and filming me so you could see everything that was going on, like you were able to see when the nephews had it and we were actually at the White House and at the museums, at the monuments. but. It was so small and cramped in there that I didn't want to have my equipment just sitting and accidentally get kicked 
because literally the bleachers were next to the baseline. There was like no room to walk and there was two games going on at the exact same time with no sound barrier. It was a lot going on in a very small space. And even with that said, taking the 70 to 200 was too tight for where I had to position myself. So I literally had to, in some instances, get in the bleachers just to get a shot that was worth showing you guys. Now, as I show you guys some of these pictures that I like and some that I don't like, overall, I didn't do the best job of getting my settings correct. Now, I don't know if it's because the gymnasium was such poor lighting, but my ISO was cranked up way too high when I looked at it in post and it was a lot of grainy footage and I really don't like how I took the shots. I don't think that is the lens because I've seen other f2.8 lenses especially the sony f2.8 lens and it should perform really well considering the price point of this lens and combined with the flagship sony a1 camera so for me personally what i plan on doing is for another venue rent this lens again to see what i did wrong and go ahead and fix those mistakes when it comes to the settings but outdoor this lens was amazing i wish i would have had my camera set because right when we were leaving the martin luther king memorial we did see the marine one helicopter the presidential helicopter fly literally right over us so i tried to get a quick shot of that but i did not have my shutter speed set properly for that so i missed that once in a lifetime shot but i'm glad that i had this lens especially on a cloudy day where we did not have a lot of sunlight all day long, but having it more wide open at an F2.8 versus the F4 allowed us to get a better shot than we could have with just the F4. So really like this lens compared to my F4, the size, the weight, it was like really comparable. I did like some of the newer things on the F2.8 with being able to use the lens hood and being able to snap it and put it on a little bit easier. So there's some things I definitely like that were just as a novice user that I did notice very quickly on this specific lens. I can't wait to shoot on this lens again, not only just sports photography, but just other events, portrait photography, events, conferences, weddings, anything that requires really good pictures. I think this lens is phenomenal uh, for all of those things. And when I got a chance to actually use it outdoors, I definitely could tell the difference in using the f2.8 versus the f4 so with that i need to pack this lens back up in the case so again lens rentals is where i got this uh, lens uh, you can rent a bunch of different lenses the cameras and other accessories i'll put a link below this video so if it's your first time you'll save a discount like i was able to by watching other youtube videos that quite frankly recommended the site really easy to have your purchase rental and also send it right back um, and get it as long as you need it for what you're using it for so with that i'm gonna pack this up and in the meantime you guys can watch the next video and i look forward to seeing you there